Um, this basically just loads up the code um, with Press to Shop, and it just builds everything and gives out all the events to what can trigger everything inside the module. So. So inside this we need a reference to the actual class. So this then name, which is a variable, equals then the um what you name the folder and the car file like. So that would be mine. This tab. So this is basically like the XML file, but it's just putting it um, all the information into um, code as well. So front office features. And it's just repeating that for all the XML bits you put down. So. So kind of straightforward, really. So that's the only patch you need to mention. Next, well, we still got to mention the display name and description, and the confirm on install, but um, that's just the basic information. And just beneath it, we've got to make a call to the parent construct. And this, this just basically attaches it to the um, what loads every single module in. So when, the, when you load a page, that page loads the like, master module, and then that master module loads in all the other modules. So when the when that master module calls constructs function, it'll call a construct function of all the other function um other functions. This construct function of all the other modules. So then just put the the other X, XML variables underneath. So display name. And you'll notice in this bit, I put a. Oh crap. Um, PDF customizer. You notice in this bit, I've put a reference to something which is a function, which is L. Um, and this is going to be the. When I, when I mentioned the language files, this is where if you type something here, which will be um, the text for the default language, um, if somebody's in a different language, um, you've got to write the same bit of text for that, for that language in that language file. So if somebody else in a different language um, is in this module, it'll load up a different bit of text for that variable for them from language file if that makes sense so that's the reason we've got to add the wrap the text around the L function so this description equals Yeah, that's right.
Oh wait, sorry. I'm repeating myself there. It's just wasn't really paying attention. Um. Actually, I'll just copy this bit of information from the XML file. So descriptions up here. and put it in there and the last one so the uninstall And just another bit of text from XML again. And that's just the end of the construct function. So next one's gonna be the install function. So the first thing you've got to check is this function that checks when you're installing it, if it's installed correctly. So if the <coughs> if the mass module knows to load it. So this this bit gets a bit more advanced when you actually add in information inside it. Cause you've got to wrap it around the uninstall and install to make sure that you're not leaving anything behind. But if somebody decides to uninstall your module, that's the basic um, what you need for it. However, you're developing it and the uninstall. And it's just the same, but obviously write in uninstall rather than install. Um, I think that's it. Obviously, when you when you make it, there's other things you've got to include. But just for a basic um, template, um, make sure I ain't missed anything out. Oh wait, there's a few extra functions.
Right, if we go back to the um, back office and just reload, and go down here, um, you should be able to see that the module now turns up with all the information. Um, the configure but link doesn't show up yet, but that's because we've still got to add some um, other specific parts for that to actually load up. And the image doesn't load up either yet, due to that other code, but that's just got the basic um, structure of the module. And we just need to add the um, basically the HTML for the configuration page and some code for dealing with printing out that code and breeding when it's loading. <laughs> 